Do y'all know what today is? Today is my one year anniversary of when I decided to stop coloring my hair. It's today. Today is my hair anniversary or my dieversary or no more dieversary. Whatever it is, today is my day. It has been one year and I am so proud of myself. <music> Let's just talk about it, y'all. Let's just talk about what has happened in the year because it has been a crazy but super fast year. Welcome to my curls, guys. One year ago today, I decided to stop coloring my hair. I have been coloring my hair for 20 something years. I'd actually gone that day to get my hair colored. I came home, took a shower, got dressed because I had somewhere to be and I hated myself for it. I was so unhappy coloring my hair. I decided basically in that moment, in a 10 minute span of time, I was not gonna color my hair anymore. I text my hairdresser, she's a friend of mine, and I said, look, Betsy, I don't wanna do this anymore. What do we do from here? What does this look like? How does it happen? Explain it to me. I'm not gonna color my hair anymore. And that was it. It was kind of done at that point. And that was exactly one year ago today. So I didn't know what to do and I was so scared. I was so scared of what people would think of me. Um, I was scared of being judged, but really I was used to people talking about my hair because I have this crazy curly hair, but it was the judgment. I was afraid of people judging me. I decided, no, I'm going cold turkey. This is it. And I have never put anything on my hair again. Randy and I went on vacation in January of 2019. We were gone for a couple weeks and it just seemed like every day that I was on vacation, my roots, my, my silver hair grew more and more and more. And because we were at the beach, I had my hair pulled back every day. Um, it was just amazing to me how much my gray came out while we were on vacation. And when we got home from vacation, and the, it was kind of like the first day that I was actually facing the world and going to see people that I knew and facing my friends with about <laughs> this much outgrowth, I was really scared. Um, but while I was on vacation, I decided that I was gonna start this YouTube channel and show the world what it looked like for a lady with dark curly hair to actually go gray. Because when I was in the first two months of my transition, I got on YouTube and I was looking for women. I wanted to see women like me. I wanted to see what this gray hair was gonna look like when you mixed it in with all of these crazy curls. And I couldn't find anybody like me. I had a really hard time. And so when we were gone, that's when I decided to start this YouTube channel. I didn't know how to do YouTube. Didn't know anything about it. But when I came home from vacation, I settled on the name, Welcome to My Curls. To me, that was like, welcome to my life, welcome to my hair, just welcome to everything that I have, welcome to my home, and let's just come in and talk about it. Like, we're just a bunch of girlfriends, and that's what you are to me at this point, almost a year later on my YouTube channel, just a bunch of my girlfriends. And so, as time has progressed on, I have learned more and more about YouTube. I've learned how to better my channel, but all the while, this gray hair y'all you have been able to see this gray hair growing and it has been a crazy process and i will say the first three to four months are the hardest i have said that over and over it was the hardest because you have something new happening it's not long enough you don't have enough of it for people to be like wow you you got some gray hair you got some beautiful silver hair you just have a little you have enough to be annoying you have enough for it to be a little bit embarrassing you have enough for friends and family or just your general passerby to kind of think what is that lady doing like did she forget to get her hair done like what's happening everybody's just kind of unsure at that point but once you get six months in and it's clearly obvious what you're doing and your gray hair starts to blend in with some of your colored hair, 
things do get easier, I promise. So because it is my one year anniversary, I went and got a haircut yesterday. And it's funny because I love my hairdresser. Her name is Betsy, I talk about her all the time. So I said to Betsy yesterday, the next time I come in for my haircut, I'm interviewing her. I have so many questions for her. I want to get her take, the opinion of a stylist looking in on women who are choosing to go gray. And Betsy's younger, she doesn't have any gray hair, she's not at that point. But I have so many questions for her. It's gonna be a super interesting interview. So stay tuned for that one. I'll let you know when it's coming up. But this, this process, this year, has truly been life altering for me. And I'm always, I have always been a strong woman. And I know that about myself. And I don't say that, um, I don't say that lightly, but I am. I have always been very strong-willed. When I want something, I go after it. It takes a lot to stop me from getting something that I want, and I know that about myself. Sometimes it's a great virtue and sometimes it's not, but it is me. But it is so funny because yesterday on the internet, on social media, apparently there was a release of a documentary about women going gray. It's a movement. A lady did a documentary about it and it is being released today on my anniversary. And I watched a little two minute snippet of it on Facebook. And she was interviewing this women that have gone through the process or are in the middle of their transition. And the women were saying how strong they felt and how much of a badass they felt Y'all, I know I'm a badass. I don't need a documentary to tell me I'm a badass. I know it because I am one year into this. If I can do this, I can do anything. I am stronger than I ever thought I was. I am more confident than I ever knew that I was. And it is all 100% because of the silver hair. It is. So happy anniversary to me. If you have not started your journey, if you are considering going gray, please take my words into consideration. I have never met a gray-haired woman who has said to me that she regretted going gray. I have talked to women who have said, oh, I tried it and I got four months in and I got scared and I colored my hair again. I regretted that. I have met women who have said they regretted coloring their hair until they were 70, but I have never met a woman who has said she has regretted going gray. I made this choice. I chose to stop dyeing my hair. I chose to go gray. I chose to be the real me. I chose to be authentic. I chose to take the tough path and I am reaping the rewards for all of my choices. I know that I am silver on purpose. It was my choice, and I'm so glad that I made it. So proud of myself. I don't even have words to explain the confidence that I have because I made this decision. But I wanna show you all just a little snippet of what my hair looked like through this process. If you have curly hair and you're trying to find a woman who looks like you, I'm that gal. I am the dark curly haired gal. So here we go. Here's what my transition has looked like to this point. So here it is, here's the hair. I'm two and a half-ish, three months into not coloring it anymore. We've been on vacation, so it's been in the sunshine for a good while, but here it is. I'm excited to see 
what's going to happen to it. And there it is. There's the hair. One year in. Welcome to my curls. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my gray hair transition. I'm so glad you're here and I want to be with you on your journey. If you have questions for me, comments, if you need advice, please let me know. Comment below. I would love to talk to you. I would love for us to just go through this process together. It is so empowering and I want to do it with my girlfriends. I don't have any friends who are going through this process. I don't know a single woman who is in the middle of going gray, except for you, my subscribers. So let's just talk about it. We are here to help each other. So welcome to my curls. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see, and I'll see you later. I got some celebrating to do, y'all. It's my anniversary. See ya.